kiss for you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development and so guys in this video I am going to teach you how you can use the in-app purchases using Google Billing API in Android Studio. So first of all I want to tell you that I will try to uh, explain the concepts and I make it as simple as possible. Okay so let's get started. So here you can see we have the build.gradle file here and there we have used the engine.android.iab library so if you want to see the github page of this library all you have to do is you can search it on github so there you will see this is the android in-app billing uh, library and it is a very simple library for android so all you have to do is you have to add this to your project so for this you have to include the, the, this dependency after you include this dependency all you have to do is now you have to use the billing permission and then you have to uh, you have to get the license key of your app from the google developer console okay so i will do that later so first of all as you can see i have added the library as well as we have to add the add mob adds dependency here because what i want to teach you is that if you you have an application with ads and there you have you will place a button so if the user do not want to show uh, to if you do you, you don't want the user to see the ads all you have to do is you have to ask the user to buy your application okay so after this the user will uh, you, the user will pay from his google pay account and then he won't be able to see the ads okay so you have to add or disable the ads so, so that's why because of this concept i have used this ads here so after we have added this it is let me show you the manifest file so there you can see we have the internet uh, permission as well as the billing permission and there you can see we have the metadata which is required for the ad mob to work so you have to specify your app id here so i am using the, the default one so after this then you have to go to your main activity where you want you where you have the button so there you can see we have the ad view here okay so we are we are uh, using the ad view or you can say banner ad and then we have the button here so it is below this ad and here you we have set the visibility to gone okay so after this you have to come to main activity and there you have to initialize the ad view here so you can see ad view is initialized and binded to our view and after this we have the my session class so what does this my session class do is if you open it there you can see we have the default constructor or you can say the simple constructor which receives the context here and then we have the two methods is user purchased or set user purchase so when a user purchases uh, the premium version of your app then you have to put that into your shared preference with true okay so this will be true in this case and then in then if we can check if it is true or false so if it is true then this method will return true and if this method uh, returns false then it will return false so after this we here we have as you can see we have initialized the add mob adds here and we have initialized the constructor of this class my session and here we can have the if else so we can check if the session is user purchase so if the user has already purchased the premium version so you don't have to show your uh, ad view here okay so you don't want to show the user the ads so you have to just set visibility you have to make it to gone but else if the user has not purchased your uh, premium app yet then you can uh, display the mess uh, the ad view so first of all we have done the we have enabled and set visibility we have um, we have marked it to visible and then we have the billing 
processor class here so this is the billing processor and here we can say billing processor equal to new billing processor then we pass on this this then we have to pass the license key okay so there is the is the license key and then the another thing is the merchant id which you can pass as it as null then you have new billing processor dot in i billing handler and there you have some method which are overridden so first of all the method is on product purchased then we have the on billing error we have on billing initialized then we have on purchase history restored okay so first of all here inside our own pro own product purchased so when the user successfully purchases the premium app by paying then you have to update your ads okay so there is the update so you have to set the session dot set user purchase to true so you after you have you have to update your ad so if you have uh, you have the ad so there you can simply say if session is the user purchased if user if the session uh, the if the user purchase is false then you have to load the ad and if and also i want to show the ad view so you can see dot set visibility view dot visible and then you have to load the ad and inside this else part you can say uh, publisher ad view dot set visibility and it should be gone okay so that's how it works and also there is the inside this own activity result method you can check if bp dot handle activity result then you have to also update the ads so after this what you are going to do is you uh, on the button click okay so if the user wants to buy the app so there is the button and inside this you can see we have own button method will be called so there you can see bp dot purchase and we have this and we can specify any product id so there we can say premium product okay so after this uh, the user will be able to successfully you can say uh, purchase your premium account but uh, for this you should have a billing account or you can say the merchant account so you have to open your google play console there you can see i this is the my google play console and what you have to do you have to first of all select the app on which you want to implement the in-app purchases so if i select this then you have to go to your development tools then you have to click on the services and apis and there you can see your license key for this application so all you have to do is, is just you have to copy you have to copy it and you have to paste it here okay so after you have this you can easily show the uh, the button here and then you can easily ask the user to buy it so here i have connected my phone so here you can see we have the add view here and we have the uh, this button so if i click on buy so there you can see and there is an error that the item you were attempting to purchase uh, could not be found because the license key here we did not i mean we did not create a product okay so you we have to create the uh, product keys so for this we have to go to store presence then we have to click on in app products then we have to click on manage products and there we can create an a product but for this we have to add the apk 
so for this we can upload a new apk file so after we upload a new apk file and then we can continue uh, the process okay guys so i think you have understood the concepts behind it if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you and goodbye